Hey guys, welcome back. Time for a long overdue update to the old Measure app video I made a while ago testing the accuracy. It wasn't great. It was half an inch off, which is not great for the real world. However, it was pretty impressive at the time. Now that it's been a few months, Apple's had a chance to refine things. It's out of beta. Let's see if it has gotten any better. By the way, I'm filming on a really old camera, so sorry about the quality. You're just going to have to bear with me. And then... Also, we are in centimeters this time for a bit more precision. Starting easy, close up on just a metal ruler. Lock it onto the edge there. Let's come to, oh, I don't know, 28. 27, okay. Um, let's give it another chance. Sorry, this is pretty dark. I know you guys can't see this very well. Try it one more time. Come to 28 again. Okay, and there you have it. You have 28. So, it's pretty good up close. Um, there's a little bit of error, but that might be in user error too. But, nope, there you go. It's trying to reset now. <laughs> um, but now let's move on to the harder stuff, which is long range. Now we're a bit farther away from our subject. Uh, just over a foot, I'd venture to guess. Probably almost two feet, actually. Now we've got a meter stick set up on a wall. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this with a camera in one hand and the phone in the other, but let me do my best. Okay, that's locked on pretty nicely. Boom. There you have it. It's perfect. Exactly one meter. Now, I think one of the problems with what I did last time is I kind of angled the phone like this instead of physically moving like this. So I think that causes the virtual, I mean the artificial augmented reality, um, a lot of problems. So let's see what that does. So we'll do the same thing, except instead of me moving, I'll angle the phone. Actually, I'm gonna clear this real quick. All right. Once again, sorry about the shakiness, that did not clear. There we go. Okay. Okay, we are locked on there. And there. So yeah, here's where we see the problem. 94 centimeters, that's 6 centimeters off. That's almost 2 inches. That's pretty major. However, now that we know what the problem is, we know how to fix it. We saw that if we move it so that it's perpendicular or parallel, whichever way you want to think about it, to the wall at all times, or rather to the object you're measuring, then it's extremely accurate. So in real world use, as long as you are careful not to angle it, it won't cause you any problems and it'll be very accurate down to a centimeter. Now I understand that that's of course kind of a pain in the ass because oftentimes that's simply not viable. However, just do know that the app is capable of being very accurate. You just have to know how to use it right. Hopefully Apple will come out with some crazy tech to make even this accurate, but that might be pretty far in the future. Thanks for watching.